So guys, this is Hot Sound Blitz 30 calibers. I made it cut a little custom, but today but I just can read by the title. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to uh, make sure this doesn't get jammed because people think this rifle always is prone to jamming and whatnot, but that is false. You know why? It's not the rifle itself. It has to do with the magazines, guys. So any jam you get in this rifle is particularly because of these freaking magazines because they're sp they're spring loaded, right? So if the spring tension is wrong, um, if anything like that is, isn't um, how it should be, it's prone to jamming. So it's not about the rifle. I just have to get that out there, okay? So let me show you what I did to not uh, make this any jam prone uh, machine. So let me just get this, whoop, get the magazine out, boom, all right. But there's um, one round in there, so I don't want that. So what I do, I have the stick, the pole. You just find there you go. Now look at here. Boom. Take that out. We don't need that because that's dangerous. But if you can see, we got slugs here. That's a uh, 30 caliber slug. But this is what I did, guys. This is what I came up with. See this? It doesn't belong here. What that is is a sticky tape that you get when you buy um GoPro GoPro. So you could call that a GoPro mount this thing right here. What I did is I cut a piece the same length as this. I uh, sticked it there. What do you, what, what you want to do is give it enough height here. Width, do you mean? Width and height so that this aligns with the breech hole. See that? Aligns with that. Because what usually happens is if you don't put this here, this doesn't align with that hole. You mean the magazine of the hole? Yes. It doesn't align with the barrel. Yes. So that that's why people get jamming issues, and because you're saying that magazine is not uh, tall enough to align with that mag uh, barrel hole. Yes, sometimes because this usually this thing sometimes comes faulty. It comes like it goes down way too much. It's like mi one millimeter short. Then it should be yes. Yeah, it's. See, that's why I put this like one millimeter in length. So you you're saying it's not designed correctly. Well. Some of aren't because some come loose. This part, I don't know what this part is called. So I'm you're, having issues. You already had a hot sun blitz that you know didn't work and you had to send it back because I didn't know how to that fix issue. it. Because I didn't know how to fix it. But this is a very simple fix. All you have to do is attach this GoPro mount sticky, sticky tape adhesive. Boom, it's one millimeter or anything that's like one millimeter at least that, yeah. that's gonna align the hole. Just so, what happens here now? This part aligns with that barrel. See, when I put this magazine in, hold up, it's the wrong magazine side, right here, there, see now it sits correctly now, now, the, now when, when this, see this, now when see I what? put this like that, okay, there's no issues when it feeds the round into a barrel, see how well that slide in there, that's because the, the height right here gives enough space for that hole to align with the barrel. Now that's how you eliminate the jamming this, problem. Yeah, jamming problem on this. Now I can shoot this rifle full auto without any freaking jamming. In conclusion, this, st what do you call this? Adhesive. Not the adhesive, the whatever this is. Yeah, whatever it's, that it's is. Short, it's short. This is a, this is a magazine hole. It's not designed well from the factory, so you have to at least put a one millimeter sticky or some tape that will align the hole into the barrel. Let me take it out again. There you go. Right there is the hole. And you basically want to align it. And this gives it the width you need. And it's simple height. as that. We don't need to explain more. It's, it's they science. Are, they understand. Because if, if, the thi if, the if that's the whole barrel hole, if this is misaligned, since this rotates, it's going to misalign. And it's going to hit just a metal piece right here. And it's going to jam up. They understood. Our, our viewers are smart enough. So hopefully you guys do the same thing if you have hot sun blitz. And it's not going to jam ever. Yes. It just keeps full out just on keep, repeat. just keeps on feeding the rounds, you know? Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. I got one in there. <laughs> I was, I was going to feed it, double feed again. Let me take that round out of there. Boom. Yo, these are large rounds. This, uh, this is not a toy, bro. See how freaking large those rounds are? Yeah, they're very... They have some substance, man. 
Yeah. Yes. So please, if you guys have a hot sound blitz like this, do the same thing. It'll save you a lot of heck of a time. You don't have to send the rifle back. It's not a rifle issue, it's the magazine issue. So let me compare that. That's my finger. See? If you could at one least millimeter. See. Yeah, one millimeter or something like that. There you go. It's simple as that. We don't need to explain more. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Simple fix. Simple fix. So stop complaining that it's gonna jam. Just do this and it'll never jam on you.